you know, one of our tactics, whether it be a couple who comes into our, our center or a couple who's listening uh, to our to our podcast, is we want you to make this shift, right? We want you to make this shift of making your partner, making your relationship a priority. But oftentimes, the road that led them into our counseling center, or maybe led them to typing into, you know, the the search engine, uh, uh, how do I reconnect with my partner? Why are we not feeling intimate towards one another? Is a set of like mm. circumstances that are created when you do not make your relationship, when you do not make your partner priority. So, so Tara hit, hit them like, what happens when your partner is not a priority to you? Oh, so I just, so we're watching this new uh, series with Nicole Kidman called Expat. Oh, yeah. And this husband's having an affair and this mistress he's with was like, well, what happened? And he's like, my wife took a pause. Like I found that to be so huge, that statement. Again, this is a TV series, but he's like, my wife took a pause and I don't think I can come back from that. And to me, like, we don't even know that we might be pausing, but it's so hurtful on the other end because it's very confusing. And then we have these stories that humans love to develop to make sense of everything. And they're usually most often very faulty, but it's like, I guess I just don't matter anymore. I'm insignificant. Maybe I look different than I used to. Again, so many things. I mean, I think you begin to just feel distant from one another and you feel unimportant. And there is some like instinctual yeah. need that we have in relationship to feel important that like, you know, cause one of the things we do with our couples is, is we lead them through a process called a genogram and a timeline where each person talks about their family history and they talk about really, you know, the timeline of zero to when they met and then eventually their relationship as well. But people love when their partner cares when they're paying attention when they're curious you know there's there's something that's really connecting and when your relationship's not a priority when your partner is not a priority they just start to feel like i don't matter like i don't yeah. matter to my person and it's just it's not a good feeling and i feel like couples like when they come in or when they're hearing this like it might feel overwhelming like that's just another thing i have to do but really there's very realistic ways and it doesn't take long at all to shift into doing that. Um, I'm, if you're like an avid listener or not, like EJ and I are super busy from like basically six in the morning until nine at night with our kids and our animals and our practice and our podcast and blah, blah, blah. And EJ writes a note to me at the coffee maker Almost every morning when he gets up 20 minutes before me, that is all I need is a note that probably takes him 30 seconds to write. Like, thank you. I love you. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Whatever. Every day is different. That I like he, the first thing he does is that I'm like, he is thinking about me. He cares about me. And then the rest of the day, right, we're giving ourselves to other people. And but I had that little note. Well, I had the note. Because if there's not ways in which you are making the intentional effort to connect with your partner, to let them know that they they matter, that distance that we were gonna that we were talking about then becomes an agitator. You know, because there's like this this thing that like you know, it starts off with distance, but there's this tension that builds and builds and builds. And then eventually that's when like conflict starts to happen. And so, and then, and then that's what's hard about then they come into couples counseling. And the first thing we're doing is sort of unraveling the conflict. Mm -hmm. But at the bottom line, oftentimes what's going on is like, we just haven't been connected for a long time. We haven't felt intimate with one another. Yeah. And when we say intimate, we always want to make sure that we're talking about emotional and physical intimacy, mm -hmm. you know? So there's this distance, then there's conflict, then there's a breakdown in intimacy, and then this, this mean thing starts to appear, and that's resentment. You start to resent the person that you love. 